What's up, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day because you deserve it. You were able to live another day. You are blessed. Live it up to the fullest, always. I just want to start off by saying Happy New Year. It is January the 1st and it is 1027 p.m. And the reason why I started to vlog so late in the day is because I lost my SD card for my memory card. I mean, for now, my memory card. I lost my memory card, which is my SD, but for my uh, camcorder. So I went to Walmart to pick that up. Now I get to vlog for you guys. So I'm really excited. But as you can tell, this is where I just came from Kroger. And yes, this is everything's bagged because I just threw it on there. And I'm excited to show you guys everything that's inside. So, this is technically a grocery haul, not really, but it's a huge announcement of what I'm starting, guys. It's going to be my new series. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but, you know, you're my viewers, subscribers. I love you guys. So, I'm doing, I'm doing this for me and for you just because of the fact that I know whenever I start cutting down, I'm going to start giving you guys so much valuable content meaning information that you're going to be able to take in, learn from, apply it to your daily lives, apply it towards your fitness goals, apply it towards just fucking look shredded as shit, look awesome, bulk up the correct way, cut down the correct way. There is no actual quote unquote correct way, but I'm giving you guys the tools so that way you can see the videos, learn from this whole entire channel as it continues to grow and I'm just really looking forward to it, guys. I really am really excited, but let's cut to the chase. And I don't have a no, I don't have a cameraman or a tripod, so uh, let me set this camera up real quick. Okay, guys, I hope this is not as boring. I know the camera's still, I hate it too, but 5 one brownies. They are the cinnamon coffee cake flavor. Three fat, 18 carb, less than one gram of protein, so no protein. Got me some peanut butter and jelly crustables. Easy, quick way to get a snack in right there. Got some steam fresh rice, throw in the microwave. Good to go with like chicken, ground beef. Got me some of those, or one bag out of the way. More steam fresh, steam fresh. Stacked up on some Oiko's yogurt. I got two different flavors, strawberry and mixed berry. So what I'm actually gonna do, a quick tip, get these Fiber One brownies, get one or two up to your preference, up to your calories that you're intaking throughout your day to hit your goal. Um, I grab one, cr uh, crumble it up into little crumbs and I throw it into my yogurt, mix it up and start eating it. Easy way to consume some calories, add a little flavor to it. Don't be afraid to mix up those taste buds, guys. Try new things. Don't be afraid. All right, long time no see. Rice cakes. Oh yeah. I got me three flavors. White cheddar, caramel corn, chocolate crunch. Candy, yeah, you guys are probably like, what the, f why are you buying candy? Uh, Guys, quick carb source to be honest with you. Look, one serving size, which I like to weigh is equivalent to 39 grams if you have a food scale, which is highly required, especially when you're trying to be on track with your calories. Um, 33 carb, two protein, and no fat. And guys, a, a food scale to measure your food, quick and easy, you can go to Walmart, Target, uh, whatever uh, has a lot of... Uh, just like big supermarkets, I'm pretty sure you could buy one in the range of twenty to thirty dollars. So, and don't see don't see it as like oh it's expensive because it's technically not, but you're also investing into yourself, which is that food scale is going to last pretty much a lot of time if you take care of it. Of course, it's gonna die over the time, but I think all you really need to buy is just batteries. I know it might come with some, but I'm saying like just battery replacement every like three four months. You know, just like. Any usual electronic that you buy. Um, so I got me more 
candy. I didn't mean to get off topic by the by the way, but uh oh my god, look at this guys, real quick. Parmesan cheese. Quite shocking. In one serving, you get 10 grams of protein, no carb. Every time you see less than one gram, that just technically just round it down to zero because it's that's pretty much, I don't know, a waste of space to me. And seven grams of fat, so that's cheese. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw that on top of a tortilla. Carb balanced soft taco right here. And um, I'm gonna mix that in with my diced chicken, with my tenderloins, you know? So it's gonna be like a little quesadilla, macro friendly. Boom, chicken tenderloins as I was talking about. Uh, and the brand on those are Heritage Farm. Pretty damn good. Simple Truth brand of lean ground turkey, 99% fat free. Why 99% fat free? Just so that way you conserve your calories towards uh, other things you can enjoy more fat sources and carb sources because it's mainly a protein source now if i were to go and get like a 93 percent protein and seven percent fat ground beef then the protein i mean the fat will pre blah, 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 blah. the fat will um tend to be pretty high like eight nine grams of fat and so i rather conserve that towards another food and replace that fat or those grams of fat for something better and use more useful that i feel like so quick tip there as well so total fat is one gram, carbs, no carbs, and protein, 28 grams of protein per serving, which is equivalent to four ounces. So there we go. All right, let's get rid of these bags. We got, we're down to three bags. Skinny cow ice cream, guys. Vanilla and chocolate flavor, my favorite. I know this video is gonna be quite long, but I hope you guys are learning something from this. Um, but anyways, vanilla and chocolate, total, Grams of fat is 2.5, carbs 29, protein 4. Quick, easy pre workout snack right here. If you want it to be, you don't have to, but just a little example. Uh, got me some turkey bacon for the morning to go with my egg whites and uh, what else? Yeah, oatmeal. So that's that. Uh, get rid of this bag. All right. This right here, Kroger brand French fries. Quick and easy, pretty much French fries are potatoes. Boom, I don't know, it tends to fill me out a lot more. The pumps uh, in the gym are a lot more, like 10 times better, as opposed to just consuming candy, like I was saying, but there's nothing wrong with that. But potato is one thing that my body reacts very well to. So everybody's body is different. Eventually, over the years, over time, you will figure out which, which works best for you, so. Take everything, listen to your body, watch your body, and take everything you eat into consideration so you know which foods to eat when and so on and so forth. So, all right, that's that. And uh, bananas, bananas, bananas for the morning. One banana is one fat, 23 carb, zero fat. Keep that in mind. So, and yes, guys, there are, it kind of does depend on like the, uh, the size of the banana. I know there's small bananas, medium and large. Just take all that into consideration as well if you're trying to be very specific and like be uh, very exact, uh, very accurate, like on track. So, Faya yogurt, uh, incredible macros, 23 grams of protein, 9 grams of carbs, no grams of fat per serving size, which is one cup. And so what I'm going to do, guys, grab this Faya, one of these Oikos yogurt, smash them together, mix them, and throw the protein brownie inside of the... My yogurt, easy way to get some like a huge amount of protein, and then my carb source, which is my yogurt. So, all right, and then last but not least, that's all I have left. Last bag, that is it. Let's show you guys what I have for you. Boom, four Power Crunch bars. Favorite brand, protein bar. Um, Power Crunch, two chocolate, and two uh, chocolate mint. If I had to choose, it'd be chocolate. So, but as I said, that's my opinion, my preference. So, my side of things based off my taste. And so, that is that right there, guys. Take a good look at that. So, this right here should last me about a week or like a week and two days. But I always say a week if you're really measuring your foods, being accurate and tracking everything. And last, but look, check this out, guys. One thing that you do want to have always, 
Boom. There's my water right there. Zarka, baby. That's it. So whenever I'm done drinking it, about a day. Guys, you should be drinking at least a gallon or two of water a day. Uh, the reason being is because water fills out the muscle. The muscle itself is already made out of 70% water. So keep that in mind. Um, and just, I like to refill this as well. Once I'm done drinking it, I'll refill it at the gym with the water fountain and you know, that's it guys, but yep, that's it, and uh, I hope you guys apply these little tips I'm giving you guys into your meals in order to hit those specific goals you guys have set for yourselves. I love you all. I'm going to head to bed, finish up with some client meal plans and updates, and put everything in the fridge so it can be cold and frozen, whichever foods need to be refrigerated and frozen, so... I love you guys. Meal plans, 2017. If you want me to, if you want to hire me as your online personal trainer, online coach, visit my website, peewefitness.co, and check me out on all social media platforms: Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. It's Peewee Fitness all together. Two E's after the P, two E's after the W. No slashes, no dashes, no underscores. All together, Peewee Fitness. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm out. Oh, God. Oh, God.